Good morning, Holy Spirit, for forgiving us peace in our moment of crisis. God of peace, give us courage in our difficult times and help us to understand and believe that hardships in life will lead to something greater and above all the grace to triumph in Jesus name beloved maybe at this moment of your crisis you are going through trauma because of death of a loved one loss of a job collapse of your business, terminal disease or illness in the body, loss of home, a repossession by the bank, your married pregnant daughter may be in a crisis and now you are even a divorced parent. This crisis has made you wonder, uncertain, afraid, and now brought you to a level of trauma that have made you indecisive, to even doubt God, even going to church, the desire is no more there, as well as even having the faith in everybody around you seems to collapse. Yes, beloved, it's a bad period and now it's hard to have faith and even feel your life don't matter anymore because it's hard it's hard to have faith especially when they shot your loved one when even you lost your job and run out of money and get nothing to tell your kids and now having difficult time Asking yourself, why will this happen to you or me? And I know that such kind of atmosphere does not produce absolute faith, but a lot of questions, a lot of anguish, a lot of trauma, and even causing you to walk backward forth and asking yourself where is the God of Abraham where is the God of Isaac where is the God of Jacob and the God of Israel even it makes you wonder where is the God of your parents whom you saw taking care of the family till even now Beloved, you are now going back and forth, asking why will this happen to somebody like you who have been taking care and even good care of people, always helping other people. Yes, you don't understand. You're right. But my brother and my sister, in moments like this, God wants you to bring your doubting, frightening, and your troubling soul into his presence. Even weeping and sobbing because God is coming for you.
His hands are wide open to embrace you and embrace your pain and your anguish. All you need to do is come to him in your mouth. Doubt is state. No need to quote scriptures. And even say nice Christian prayers. And even speak tongues to him and say all that you have to tell him. Now Lord, unless you get justice for me from my crisis or troubling stuff, I have nowhere to go. As the widow in Luke chapter 18, verse 3 echoed. Yes, I could hear you say, I'm not going anywhere. Because I'm so hurt that I am finding it difficult serving you, God. And even trouble understanding, Lord God. you and even disappointed worshiping you God but all of a sudden the eye of the Lord is thrown upon you and the Lord says I hear you I hear your cry I hear and I feel your pain and now the Lord draws closer to you so that you touch him in his wounded place like the doubting Thomas did. And Jesus is saying, show me where you hurt. Show me Show me where the pain, though he knows it. But he's still asking you, as any other person who came to him, the Lord knows it. But he asks, do you want to be healed? Do you want to receive your sight? Jesus said, show me. Where well, you almost quit. Where well, you almost die, show me. Because I could see that your faith almost got tired. And now you are learning about how the Lord loves you. And now the Lord is saying, I'm touching you by how I feel for you. Remember, he's on the right hand side of God interceding for you. He understands you because all that you are going through, he went through it when he was on this earth. And the Lord is telling you, receive your deliverance. Receive your miracle. And now go and celebrate his goodness, says the Lord. Go and celebrate my goodness, says the living God, the one who cares for you. Go, go and declare my goodness to all so that they may understand that I still care. He still care. He still loves you. God bless you. And have a wonderful day. Be at peace with your soul. Be at peace with God. And be at peace with all the promises that God has declared upon you.